happy <laughs> like everybody else is, um, Ghanaians uh, are now divided as to whether Black Stars coach Otuadu should be sacked or should be retained and lead the Black Stars to the World Cup. Proud to the last two friendly games of the Black Stars, it was only a few among the masses who doubted his credibility. However, the number seems to have inflated following the unconvincing results in the recent pre-World Cup friendlies. Former Kumasi Asatikotoko manager, coach Isaac Opele Boateng, is one of the renowned football personalities who believes replacing coach Otuado with an experienced manager will bring about improvement as far as the Black Stars is concerned. Opele Boateng stood against the decision of the GFA appointing coach Otuado back in February. He suggested former Black Stars assistant manager Ibrahim Tanku should replace Milovan Razivak instead of coach Otuadu. However, after coach Otuadu's heroics in the Moshuda Biola Stadium back in March against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, most of his critics, including coach Isaac Boatin, went reticent until recent times when Black Stars' streak of unsatisfactory results has seen them hitting back at the coach again. The former Asante Kotoko manager has suggested to the GFE to consider appointing former Chile Argentina Atletico Bilbao Olympic Marseille and Leeds United manager Marcelo Bielsa. Bielsa is currently unattached after he was relieved of his duties as Leeds United manager back in 2021. The 67-year-old manager from Argentina, who Pep Guardiola describes as his idol and the best coach in the world, according to coach Opele Boateng, would inspire the Black Stars players to play like world-class footballers with his master game plan. Opele Boateng believes it would be good if the government supported the GFE to secure the service of this world-class coach for the World Cup. Actually, I don't see this happening before the World Cup, as the global showpiece is just within a stone throw from today. But the coaching track record of the 67-year-old Argentine tactician suggests his appointment as Black Stars manager subsequently won't be a bad idea whatsoever. One of the best memories in his coaching career is his time with the Chile national team. Under El Loco Bielsa, the Chile national team underwent a lot of positive changes, which massively improved the national team. The fast tracking of young talent and instilling attacking football mindset in the team gradually made Chile one of the powerhouses of South America. Under the Argentine tactician, Chile won their first ever game against Argentina in an official match. They booked their place in the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, having missed the previous two editions, and they went on to impress and reach the knockout stage. It was because of these and many other amazing works the Chilean fans campaigned massively for Bielsa to be retained as head coach of the Chile national team in 2011 when he had offers from top European clubs. Eventually, he ended up joining Inaki's current club, Atletico Bilbao. But he left before Inaki made his debut for the club in 2014. But from Bilbao, he joined Olympic Marseille in France, where Blasters captain Andrea Yu was a key part of his team in the 2014-2015 season. This man is also known for redefining football, with some unorthodox football formations like 3-3-3-1 formation and the 4-1-4-1 formation. The 3-3-3-1 formation, which many know as a signature formation, has heavily influenced the style of many modern football coaches. The likes of Mauricio Pochettino, Pep Guardiola, Diego Simeone, Mauricio Pellegrino, and many others. This particular 3-3-1 formation makes use of three defenders, three midfielders, of which one is a central midfielder, with two of them being wingbacks. Now, the third three consists of three attacking midfielders, that is two wingers and a number 10 with a formation spearheaded by a center forward. Apparently, it was out of this formation 3-4-3, 3-5-2 and 3-6-1 came to bet. Gabriel Batistuta, Dimitri Payet, Javi Martinez, Alexis Sanchez, Nicolas Pepe, Benjamin Mendy, Aymeric Laporte and Calvin Phillips are some of the footballers who have credited Marcelo Bielsa with their development to world-class footballers. Perhaps it's because of this same reason coach Opele Boateng is also suggesting to the GFA to consider appointing the Argentine tactician as Blasters coach in future. Well, what do you think of his opinion? Do you think it will be a good option to go for the Argentine manager in future? Well, let us hear your comments or your opinions in the comment section. Let's get interactive in the comment section. Please don't also forget to subscribe and like the video. And until we meet in our next video, it's bye for now.